The kids are headed back to school, and as a parent, you are possibly running short on time. No worries, because today, on Grandma Bessie's house, we are making crispy fried ravioli, a quick and delicious meal your kids will love. The recipe, along with its ingredients, are found in the video's description. For this recipe, you will need seasoned Italian-style breadcrumbs. I find the Italian-style coats the ravioli better than the panko-style. You also need grated Parmesan cheese. If you can, grate directly from the block of cheese. The flavor is more intense than when using pre-grated cheese. The dried spices include salt, pepper, and granulated garlic. As an option, you can also add fresh, finely chopped oregano. Since the Italian breadcrumbs are already seasoned, the fresh oregano adds to the flavor of the ravioli. Although not an ingredient, a pair of chopsticks will make dredging the ravioli a whole lot easier. You need two eggs or half a cup of egg substitute, homemade or your favorite store-bought marinara sauce, and fresh or frozen ravioli. If frozen, allow the ravioli to completely thaw before cooking this recipe. If you are digging this recipe, and yes, I said digging, like and share it. If you enjoy watching our videos, subscribe to our channel. Also, smash the notifications bell to stay up to date on new content. It's time to add the Parmesan to the breadcrumbs. Oh crap. You know, accidents happen while cooking. You just have to keep it moving. Add the dry ingredients and fresh oregano to the bowl and stir to combine. Get the chopsticks ready! Grab a piece of ravioli and dip it in the egg wash. Dredge the ravioli in the breadcrumb mixture, making sure to dredge it on both sides. Set it aside on a baking rack. See the video's description for more details. Repeat the process for each piece of ravioli. oil in a skillet over medium heat. Once the temperature reaches 275 degrees Fahrenheit, add the ravioli. Do not crowd the skillet. Cook for two to three minutes per side or until they reach a golden brown color on both sides. ravioli from the skillet and set it aside on a baking rack. Repeat the process until all of the ravioli are fried. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's crispy perfection. Serve with marinara sauce and garnish with fresh basil and grated Parmesan cheese. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.